Hi, I'm Lee. And I'm Raina. We're both scientists at BioBus. Welcome to our fifth weekly Explore at Home Challenge. Today, Marina and I are going to teach you how to find fallen flowers, prepare plant pressings. It's spring, so you can find flowers everywhere! <laughs> Not there! <laughs> you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers, but you might find yourself wondering why. Well, as the days grow longer, plants are exposed to more sunlight. A little bit of rain allows for more absorption of nutrients from the soil. All of these environmental factors trigger different responses in plants, like flowering and opening up petals for pollination. We're interested in what is blooming in your urban ecosystem this spring. As we do this, we want to make sure to disturb the ecosystem as little as possible. So we don't want to pick flowers that are already growing. We will only collect things that have already fallen. First step is to find a flower and try to figure out what plant it comes from. Maybe you take a picture of the tree or bush you think it fell from. so pretty! And if you can't go outside, you can also use the plants that you are growing on your windowsill. Last step is to mount and label it, take a picture, and send it into BioBus. You can make observations of its color, number of petals, or reproductive parts. A good way to keep track of this is by collecting and preserving fallen flowers in your neighborhood. Press that flower between two sheets of paper, weigh down with heavy books, and wait one to four weeks. Thanks for watching! Submit your photos! See you, See you next, next week! week.